first, the formalities for Britain's shortest tenured prime minister in history. Thank you. Liz Truss bid farewell, then offered her resignation at Buckingham Palace. And soon after, Rishi Sunak arrived, invited by King Charles to form the UK's next government. For the fifth Conservative Prime Minister in six years, it was important to project stability within his party and for a country deeply in debt and grappling with 10% inflation. Right now, our country is facing a profound economic crisis. Many are watching Jeremy Hunt, the Minister for Finance, faces tough decisions whether to increase taxes and cut spending. The British pound strengthened today, which is a good start for Sunak. He needs to build confidence. He's got a hell of an agenda required to uh, fix the problems of the UK. Sunak exudes confidence. He broke through an ethno-cultural ceiling to be the first British Asian prime minister. He had the benefit of private schools as a young man, a background in finance, and married into one of India's wealthiest families. Now the youngest prime minister since 1812 has bridges to mend after Boris Johnson and Liz Truss. I have work to do to restore trust after all that has happened. That trust will not come overnight. I think it's the best of a bad bunch in every circumstance. Prime Minister Trudeau issued a statement extending congratulations to Sunak, calling Canada's partnership with the UK one of the strongest relationships between any two countries in the world. For Ottawa, those relationships with Sunak's inner circle matter. Starting with the Prime Minister himself, the Chancellor responsible for finance, the Foreign Secretary, the UK Defence Secretary, and at international trade, Kemi Badenoch. Badenoch will be part of Britain's team negotiating a new free trade deal with this country. Canada has a lot at stake in getting a good British government. And I think that Sunak has the potential to provide that. What the new Prime Minister hopes won't be needed now for a long time is the moving van spotted today behind 10 Downing Street. Eric Sorensen, Global News.